Hey YouTube, Corvus here. Welcome again to another vlog entry. Uh, thank you for joining. A special thanks to all the people who watched the previous vlog entries, especially those who uh, made a comment. i um, always surprised to, uh, to find some very nice and enthusiastic comments on, uh, on the vlog entries. I still think the vlogging is quite a personal thing for me. It's a bit of a, a bit of a diary where I just share what I'm working on, share some of my thoughts, a bit of a brain dump of some ideas I have in my head. So it's a bit personal, but apparently a lot of you like it and they also take the time to watch the entire thing. I try, always try to keep it, uh, to make it not that long, but uh, and also uh, take the time to, to make a comment. So big thank you to you. Uh, so what will this be about? First of all, a bit of an update on the Infinity project. I basically finished all the figures, the nomads, um, they're behind me uh, here. Try to show them to you really quick. Not a close-up, but uh, so worked worked on the bases. The bases are done. We just have to paint the sides of the bases, and then I think I will uh, will go on and then put some flock on there or some static grass, and then uh, put some layers of varnish on there. Usually do two layers when I'm working on gaming models. So the Panosiana figures are also waiting for a, for a layer of a layer of uh, varnish. That's it. So I can start playing with them. Um, just the plan is to do uh, to do the campaigns from the from the starter box from the book there with a friend of mine. But in the next few weeks I will have some some holidays. So that's also something I wanted to tell you. Is that there? I'm not sure about the, the schedule next few weeks. It could be that it's a bit quiet here on the channel, but I try to uh, record some videos to put uh, put online uh, in between. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe there will be one or two weeks of uh, complete silence here on the channel. Uh, but we'll see how things goes and things go. And then after the holiday stuff is over, then I will surely try out some uh, some few games with the Infinity figures. Big news is the this box you have probably know already. So the Age of Sigmar. Um, in the last video, I think I told you about uh, that uh, I had the idea to order it and maybe start uh, just start painting it, this and just like the Infinity box, uh, paint this up and play the introductionary games and uh, see how it go f goes from there. Um, I'm not really the type of armor painter, so we'll have to see how this goes. But right now, I'm really motivated to get get this started. I will start a separate video series about uh, my you know, this project, so the painting of this box, and maybe it's the the start of something new. Um, maybe I'll get involved in in yeah in building a real army. Just uh, starting with the starter set, but I know myself. I'm a, I'm a slow painter. Uh, that's mainly because I really want to to do it right. Uh, I don't really like cutting corners when painting figures, so I uh, try to stay away from uh, stuff like just base coating and washing and done. That's not that's not my style. So I'll probably put a lot of time in, in making the painting up the the figures. So uh, right after this, I will re record a video, which will be the first episode of Project uh, Age of Sigmar, which I will call it. Um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. I hope you'll join in the series. If you already also have Age of Sigma, I'd like to hear uh, what you think about it. If you already played a few games, or you're working on the on the set as well, I'd like to uh, like to see your experiences with that. So, a um, bit of a background story. Uh, I ordered the game um, at Element Games. The first time I ordered there. Uh, usually I. I uh, order with the uh, Wayland games. Uh, I know I heard there are a lot of bad rumors about Wayland games. People had bad experience with them. Uh, already ordered a couple of times there. Various stuff, for example, the Infinity set is which uh, I also ordered there. I mean, if you as long as uh, uh, I had a bit of a problem with, but uh, basically my own fault. I ordered some stuff, some paints that were not in stock, and then yeah, I mean, I think it's the same with all uh, online retailers. Um, they say you have to wait a week, and then it's two weeks, and then uh, yeah, it goes on from there, so I had to wait quite a while once for a, for a complete order, but it was a bit of my own mistake, but the other orders, they were all shipped quite, quite fast, and uh, never really had a bad experience with Wayland games. 
but I never really required their service. So uh, I think as soon as you start, if you have an order that that where there's something wrong, you have a problem, and you need to need their service. That's a real test about how the good the customer service is. But anyway, I wanted to order the Age of Sigmar set there. They advertised it where you go to the website on Wayland Games, but apparently didn't have it in stock uh, yet. It was two weeks ago, I think. So I started looking for uh, alternatives. Um, then I found a post on can't remember the name now the WAMP forum I think there was a post about people just offering some uh, there was a list with uh, online retailers based in the UK and one of them was Element Games and people told them yeah, in the thread they told their experience that they had, they had a very good customer service and I think it's a bit more expensive than Wayland Games but uh, anyway I ordered, ordered the box there and also ordered some paints um, I think a week later so I always make this place these orders and make it cheap to my parents address because my parents are usually at home I'm not always at home and when when the courier arrives they sometimes put it at the back of the house or when the postman arrives you have to go to the post office to pick it up a few days later so it's easier for me to just drop it off uh, let it deliver to to my parents address so uh, when I when I once a week my, my kids go there to my to my uh, my parents so I went, uh, went to go pick up my uh, my kids there after work and my mother told me yeah the package arrived but yeah there's a problem with the package I think because when when I took it from the from the male guy a, a small pot of paint dropped out so yeah I went went to see to the box and basically yeah I threw away the box but basically just one one side of the one lid was half open and the, the the tape on top was was torn and on the almost the entire length and yeah apparently i ordered i think six paints or something and there was only one paint left in there uh, and, and it was basically because the the box they used it was like one centimeter higher the inside of the box was one centimeter higher than this box so it, they just put the paints on top uh, and Apart from that, the box was heavily damaged. Uh, it really took a beating on the way to uh, from the UK to Belgium. Uh, but anyway, so all the paints were probably on one side. There was weight on the box, and it just ripped uh, ripped uh, the tape, and it opened one one side of the of the lid, and yeah, then the, the paints simply dropped out. So I thought, yeah, this is a good test about what they say about the customer service of Element Games. So basically, I wrote an email to their. Uh, to the customer service I told them yeah uh, there was some problem with the package it was damaged by the postal service not your problem I know but I think uh, there were some paints in there which were lost and I think that's probably caused by the uh, for partially caused by the way you packaged it uh, I was not really happy about the way it was, was packaged with uh, just a tight fitting box uh, around uh, for, for the age of Sigmar and then putting the paints on top like that, I wasn't really happy with that. I told them, and so within a day, I got a response. Hey, no problem here. He will, uh, will, will ship you, ship you the paints again. So last week, I mean, three days, took three or four days for them. They sh shipped me the the paints again. So they're in here, of course, well packaged now. So really, really happy with the service. So uh, that's also something maybe I want to ask you is where where do you order your stuff? Uh, you had some good or bad experiences with the uh, online retailers. Um, if you're interested in ordering at Element Games, they also have a great uh, referral program. So uh, I'll uh, give you a code. I'll try to put it in the description, or it's now on, on the screen somewhere. Uh, I have a referral code, so they basically give you one one percent uh, of your uh, amount that you purchased. Um, they give you. He has some kind of credit, it's called crystals or something. If you enter the code, I will also get extra crystals when you order. But the cool thing is that you will get double crystals, so I think 2% on, uh, on the balance. So that's something something very nice. So if you plan to order at Element Games and you're not uh, helping out a friend with a similar code, then please consider using my, uh, my referral code on the screen or in the description. So uh, right now we'll start... Uh, recording the first episode of the uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar project. We oh, yeah, have one more thing. The um, already told a couple of times that I did the how to paint video, the tutorial video on one of the Infinity figures. Uh, I have all the files on my PC. Just have to find some time um, editing the files. It will be quite a big, big. Uh, 
uh, big undertaking. I think I have three or four hours of footage that I need to cut. Um, not sure yet if I will speed up stuff or uh, probably have to cut out a lot. Uh, the idea in my head is just to to uh, have 30 minutes of footage left, or maybe split in two parts. Not yet sure. I will uh, how I will tackle this. Maybe you can tell me how how you enjoy watching uh, tutorial videos. Uh, so that's something that's coming up, but I uh, just ask, have to ask you a bit of more patience. So that's something that will come up in the first, uh, next couple of weeks. So not in a matter of days, but probably more in a couple of weeks. So that's it for this vlog entry, already past the 10 minutes I see here on the screen. Uh, if you're also having a holiday, enjoy, enjoy the time. Um, happy painting, see you in next vlog entry or video on this channel. Thanks for watching, bye.